What's going on, people? How's everybody doing? Like Benny says, that's where we are. Put a little light on here. That's a bright idea, huh? How's everybody today? Cold, cold, cold up here, boys. Cold, cold, cold. Going to supposed to get colder, too. Oh, there we are. Well, things to talk about. Uh, I got the uh, Czechoslovakian plane is done. Um, finished it up this afternoon and we started a new build. So we'll talk about the plane first and then we'll talk about the new build. So most of you guys like to know, I like to do a little history. Uh, something sorely lacking nowadays, it seems. All right. Czechoslovakian Avia C2 172 scale uh, KP Plastikovy model Czechoslovakian pure Czechoslovakian so here we go all right uh, whoop. I better put it on to the English side not the Czechoslovakian side all right, the Avia C2 was the most frequently used advanced two-seat trainer of the Czechoslovakian Air Force in the post-war years. C2s were very useful for advanced flight training in Central Flying School, Air Force Academy, and by air regiments for conditioned flying of former wartime pilots. The excellent flight characteristics enabled the practice of simulated air battles, air gunnery, bombing blind and night flying, reconnaissance and photography by both fixed and hand-operated cameras. For good performance, C2s were accepted also for service by the Air Guard units. In the period of the Cold War, they, they were active by shooting down propaganda balloons from the West, which bore and dropped unfriendly leaflets. The balloons threatened the air traffic over Czechoslovakia. So there's a little piece of history, huh? Shooting down balloons. Hmm. Uh, the series production of the C-2 was based on the wartime production of the, of the Arado AR-96B, which was introduced by Germany in Avia and led to our factories in Prague in 1949. Uh, when the production ceased, a total of 394 C-2s were completed. The last flights with the C-2s by the Central Flying School were flown on December 12, 1955. They were replaced by Yak-11 trainers. However, one C-2 was in service by the Air, Air Research and Test Institute in Prague as late as 1958. It was used there as a glider tug plane for testing gliders at their maximum speeds. Uh, the Avia C-2 was a low-wing all-metal two-seater with retractable undercarriage powered by Argus AS-410A inverted 12-cylinder engine. Uh, the automatic L-22 propeller secured constant RPMs for takeoff and all other fight regimes. The RPM was placed in the spinner and powered by a windmill. Technical data. It had a wingspan of 10.96 meters, was uh, 9.13 meters long, stood... Um, 2.59 meters high, had a weight of 1,433 kilograms, had a maximum speed of 355 kilometers an hour, and its cruising speed was 280 kilometers an hour. So, without, uh, without further ado, let's go look at the A2. Oh, the C2, I'm sorry. All right, hang on, boys, hang on. We're going to go on wobbly mode. And we're off. Oh. All right, here she is. Not bad, cool. Yes? What are you up to? What are you up to? Say goodbye, Jeff. Not a girl. Not a girl. All right, boys, 172 scale. Here she is. Yes, she is. Real quick little build. 
Uh, like I say, 172 scales. That's why I like them, because they're quick. A lot of everything's on the outside. Um, let's see if I can show you the bottom without screwing anything up. There's our bottom. Um, I had to put, replace a couple of pieces that had gotten lost somehow. Um, the radar ring back here. And that little nub right there, they were both lost in the, I got this kit, it was rebagged, um, so it must, they must have got lost somewhere along the line. But, uh, yeah, we replaced them, so they don't look too bad, the propeller does turn. Yeah, okay. It's a little tight, but, uh. All in all, not bad, not bad. Another one to hang up in the museum. My first Czechoslovakian plane. So, uh, I think it came out pretty good. Let me know what you think, boys. Let me know what you think. Fun little build. Like, that's, like I said, that's why I like these 172s. I think she looks pretty good. I'll take a couple of pictures of her, and uh, we will go from there. So, let me know what you think, guys. There's the C2, the Avia C2 from Czechoslovakia. Alright guys, let's go look at the next build. I believe that this will be the last build for uh, 2019 at the Motor Works. I do not think that the one I have started I will be able to finish in a, in a week and a, in a, in a half. So, but there she is. Let me know what you think, guys. I was surprised the decals were uh, decals were awesome. Uh, there was no flash on it, uh, but yeah, I, I thought the decals would disintegrate. But uh, yeah, probably the best set of decals I've uh, used in a while. Slid right off, come up, come right up, weighed down nice, didn't break. That's what I was concerned with, with because you know when they get old, they tend to break. The only thing I had a problem with. Was the bottom of the O over over here in the corner? I don't know if you can see it, but a little piece came out. I I got lucky enough to get it back in there. So, but there she is, guys. Let me know what you think. I appreciate the comments on the bike. Um, really, really appreciate those. Um, yeah, it, it came out all right. So, but uh, yeah, there we go. Let's go look at the next build. Oh, and there it is again. What's up? Huh? What was that for? Huh? Yeah, all right. Our next build. Here we are. Our next build. I wanted to build this for a while. I've had this in my stash for a, for a wee bit. Um, yeah, really looking forward to building this. Bentley 4.5 uh, liter blower. There's the blower in the front. But uh, yeah, um, actually this took part in the first race at Le Mans, I believe. So uh, yeah, looking forward to building this one, boys. Got some pretty cool detail on it. Interior looks like it's gonna be pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, so I've already started the motor. We started the motor. Um, the first thing I did was cut off this line that was down here. I'll show you. Uh, this bottom piece. See how it had the line on there? Well, that could cut off. And we are going to put this on here. See if I can show you. Yeah, so once I get that glued in, it's a piece of braided line. Um, I think it looks much better than the, than the styrene they had laying there. So that's our first... Uh, our first um, 
yeah, what do you want to call it? Scratching, <laughs> whatever. So yeah, and I just got done, just got done building the blower. Um, yeah, I got a couple little pieces. I, my fault. Um, this piece came in two halves with these pieces on them. These two pieces right here on the end. I suppose they have little matching parts on the other side that stick out a little bit. Well, this dummy, when I cut them off the sprue, they looked exactly like, um, you know how sometimes they have those little tabs that you're supposed to cut off on them? Well, guess what I did without looking? Yep, and then I looked at the directions and went, Hey, you dumbass, guess what? You shouldn't have cut those off. So now, I gotta cut a couple of little pieces, but that's no big deal. I just stuffed this in there to get a solid piece because I didn't have a solid piece of, uh, of, uh, I know I could use stretch sprue, but I like to, I like to, uh, pick up to some of that, the, uh, evergreen styrene. So I got a piece, I got a piece. One well, little piece here, a little piece there, they're about a quarter inch long. Next time I'll friggin' look, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I'm really looking forward to building this. So, that's where we are. Um... Oh, good, uh, good news for me personally. Um, I have hit exactly 70 pounds of weight lost. I got on a scale today and I'm at 265. I started at 335. A little over, 336, 337. So I'm down at 265. Got a few more to go, another 40 or 50. 40 anyway. I'd like to get down to around 220, 215. So that'll make the dog happy. It makes me happy. I'm not carrying around a four-year-old anymore, or a fourth grader anymore. <laughs> Which pretty much is 70 pounds. That's a fourth grader. Put one of them on your back and carry it around all day. So, all right, boys. You don't need to hear any more from me. We're going on. Jesus, Jeff will be complaining. It's over 12 minutes. So stay warm, guys. It's supposed to be getting cold. Everybody be safe, and uh, you'll be hearing from me, so peace out.